Hello everybody, this is Nicholas Mana here, and I am fed up with not being able to smash a Yasuo matchup as I used to be. I feel like I lost something, something was forgotten, uh, and and I know that Fizz is, is, is capable of smashing Yasuo, but I feel like I just lay down and I am at the whims of the Yasuo, and I my, my approach is too passive now, and I can't... Um, Garner a, a a lead in the lane, right? And and uh, usually, I'm I'm very aggressive, but as of late, I've been playing really passive, and I'm not too sure why. So I'm gonna examine a couple of these high level gameplays games, and kind of identify what specifically uh uh um things that 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 Fizz has over Yasuo. What specifically things that uh, how to control the lane, how to control the waves, uh, how to pressure, how to fake out, uh, what to do with an advantage, and, and, and how, to spot those, how, how to spot those opportunities. So, uh, I have a notepad here, and I'm going to illustrate, I guess write down specifically the things that I see, and, how to, and, and hopefully I can incorporate that into my own play. And I'm making this video to, to kind of uh, showcase that. Alright, so let's watch. Lane, team fight, and outplay your opponents. So, recently I've been um, running these, 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 this type of rune page. And uh, so Triumph and Coupe de Grace for this guy, double adaptive instead of the attack speed. Which makes sense, because I feel like the attack speed one is something that you would want against, a, let's say, I don't know, Syndra, right? And you jump over her, her, her CC, and then you can just auto like five times, pa 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 pa. Like, but, but, but something like Yasuo, it, it'd probably be a lot, a lot of quick, short exchanges. So, this, this makes sense. Okay, so he's very in the face. You know, sounds are good. Okay. Hmm. This still loads faster. Okay, so. Watch that again, actually. Slow motion. Oh, I'm sorry about thugs. Okay, so he goes in for the for the CS here, and then he waits because because the CS is set up right, and he's gonna hop onto it and. Okay, Yasuo misses Q or not really, but then he hits Yasuo. Yasuo just used his Q's on cooldown, right? So he can't retaliate, and he's able to get the CS. Okay, makes sense. And then he, he he's 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 constantly keeping his distance. This thing that I I, I notice here. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, is for Yasuo. Um. Tether. Yasuo. So what, basically what this means is to constantly be in that sweet spot, like constantly be out of range of his Q, but be in range too for your Q, I think. I think that's what, what, what's going on here. We'll see more. But he's always in that, in, that, in, that, in that zone, that range. That range of, you can't hit me with your Q, but I'm right, I'm right outside of it. So like, it's, it's, that, that's putting pressure on Yasuo right there. And he dodges the Q there. That's good. And this is what he builds. I guess like uh, you, will, you would always usually go Zonius. And then he gets this because he's just fucking popping off. Always out of the key range here. Controlling the pocket. So we don't know where Elise and Jarvin is right now. Maybe Elise is coming on to the to the left side. Uh, maybe maybe Elise started red and came down to blue. Okay, he's respecting the level two. I think he if if Yasuo were to dash in, uh to throw into the queue, I think he would have hopped that Yasuo. Maybe he wouldn't have, but I don't know why he was standing right there. Okay, okay. He eats that. He hops on you. Okay. So, I think. Let's watch this play out real quick. 
Okay, he went out there. He went out on that trade. Okay, let's watch that again. That was important. Um, so right here, I think he also goes for a Q on Fizz and then he hops, right? Well, maybe he, he, well, he didn't, but... Okay. But Yasuo, um, he, Fizz is safe on his tower. Yasuo can't dash. He can't maneuver because uh, if he does, he'll just fucking die to tower, right? So this is a free E. But amidst all these minions, he still goes for it and wins out on the trade. So if this has like what? Like 400 health. 1, 2, 3, 400. This is that. Gets autoed. <gasps> and he, he, he did like 175 damage to Yasuo. Okay, so. E. I capitalize these things, huh? Oh, no more. Sorry about dog. They weren't barking before I started the video, which is terrible. Okay, uh, E. Yasuo. When he can't dash. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, okay. Okay, right, so he has jungler support and he goes in and Yasu has nowhere to dash. He take he eats the he eats the knock up. Jumps on Yasuo. Okay, I think here, um it's flash. Okay, now he just leaves. He got the flash, that's good. Fades with Yasuo here on the tower, makes sense. Okay, so something that we see here. Um, let's watch that again. So he has about 300, but I get to 400 with the Corrupting Potion. The second potion now. He also still has his potion. I think he probably could have hopped sooner. And okay, so your damage is always better than Yasuo's like damage. So your burst. You got the flash, and yeah, he just the gate here. Makes sense, makes sense. I feel like I'm gonna be bothered right now by people. This is just knowing you're lethal, and then so yeah, Fisher just just left uh, actually, but. I watched this before. Fizz just fucking dies, but let's watch this again just so I can know the lethals here. Fizz has 18 ability powers, double that, no attack speed, makes sense, makes sense. He dashes in. He has flash, right? He flashes at him. Okay, he does that. Okay, that makes sense. Then he dies here. Okay. So he gets Doranging and Dark Seal. This is something that I see a lot. Um, I, I can see why. Like the the, the, the Dorange Ring gives you a good amount of health. But I feel like two Dark Seals is better than one Dorange Ring, mainly because you're not starving for mana too much as Fizz, if you if you know how to use it well. I feel like I manage my mana pretty well as Fizz. So he just took that trade. Oh, okay. So yeah. Um uh, let's see, after first five. So I think he's doing this thing right here, E Yasuo when he can't dash. He can't dash or he E that Yasuo, took that trade. And the slow is so oppressive that he's able to walk away from Yasuo. And Yasuo still can't dash, right? He has to just take the retreat because if Jarvan is anywhere around here, he just fucking dies. And now from here, uh, he got one good trade, so he uh, he's able to uh, control the, the the rest of the lane uh, as the state is before before the reset, right? 
So he would just trade again with the Asuo. I feel like so I feel like so we know where Elise is. He should be just standing right here and ready to jump on uh, Yasuo again. But maybe he's just waiting for his E cooldown, which would be like about now. And then so like Yasuo could dash, right? So that's why he's not Eing. This makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um don't E when Yasuo can dash. That's probably very important to note. But if you miss your E against Yasuo, I think you just lose the fight, right? He still has he still ha so he still has his E and he's holding out versus Yasuo. And then Yasuo dies here, right? Okay. Yeah. Like uh that was just checkmate right here. And then he just follows and follows until he throws out that out and then reacts and then Okay, I think the game's over now. Okay. He's backing here. See? Is she gonna stay? Yeah, he just stays. And pushes, still pushes it. I guess the Jarvan could come in and gank. You know, he's immediately starting to build Zonias now. I think he did that on purpose. Yeah, he did that on purpose. He, he took that because he knew. Um, I guess one more note we could take is, yeah, Yasuo will always take the alt. <laughs> I guess. And now, let's see. Just backs again. And goodbye. Now, do we go Seekers or do we go. Okay, yeah, I guess we go Seekers before the. um. What should I say? At stopwatch? No, he just queues and trades, and that's a lot to deal with. I'll watch a little bit more of this. Yeah, we're scared of Elise right now. Hmm. Makes sense. And yeah, he just drums top. Ooh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. I think, um, just depending on what side you're on. So let's say if you're on blue side, you should always gank red side. If you're on Oh, you should always gank top. If you're on red side, you should always try to gank bot. Just because the, the access to the lanes is a lot easier. Alright, let's see. Um, oops. Talking to my friend. Showed him that Elenity meme. Okay. Uh, if, if blue side gank top if 
red game box. Makes sense. Alright, watch it a little bit more. <laughs> so he just shoves it and then he just goes bots and gets the double, right? Alright, game's over. Alright, next one. Oh, this time for the, for the fist here goes presence of mind and has attack speed. So let's see. How he plays this one. Your opponents. This one's a little bit more standard. He goes proto about. I I, th I think if you're more aggressive. So this is how I would play here. This replay if you so want he's shoving which along with Yasuo. Wait, what happened here? Wait, well. So he started W and immediately started trading with Yasuo. Watch and won that trade. You know which runes to use, which items to build. Understand how to lane, team fight, and outplay your opponents. Yeah, if he's gonna get a fuck here. You're shoving with, with Yasuo. I'm shoving too hard now. He's waiting for the, the, the wave to come back up because he's gonna get stuck in a tower. Yeah, he did that too to get the the shield proc on Yasuo, keep the shield down. I think now he just wins, right? Damn. So he just walked up auto. This is where the attacks would come in. The presence of mind if you're a lot more aggressive in the lane. This is how I want to play. Yep, yep. Okay, so uh, this might need more more research, but let's make it like a separate one. Um. Hmm. A S. No. Uh. Can shove clean if if you take the first you take the if you win the first trade. We're back in. We're respecting jungler access here. I think he would just trade right here, right? Coming up. Oh, out there, he'll throw that shit out. Level three now. I think he took down a purpose because he knows he'll win that trade. Who knows where Elise is? A a flashes for this because of presence of mind he gets a fuck ton of mana back. <laughs> Sorry about the dog. All right, we're gonna. He trades again, but I guess the I think I think he misclicks. Maybe he was going for the CS farm here. So it's, it's a much different play style, but the, the lanes. Like uh, also always has access to to dash the minion, so you can't e. There's no more crafting potion pots anymore. He's kind of just respecting you also now. I feel like Yasuo shouldn't shove here, he should just hold the wave, right? Like literally, he, should, he could just hold the wave and then have uh, Fizz lose out on, on a couple of minions. He's walking up, nine. 
That's smart. On this. And. I think he's just gonna back. I think he, so. He's gonna take the the the, the loss here because it's uh he's not, the jungler back. He's just gonna suffer a fatigue now, so he has to reset. Dark shield double amplifying tome. That's good. That's a good buy. It's really good buy actually. He bought twenty twenty, like six no fifty fifty ability power right now. Yeah, uh, sixty five. Well, I can't really see. Fuck. 61. Okay. 61 ability power. Hmm. So now we have control of the lane. I think we have a better buy than Yasuo right, right now. And Fizz is shoving it. I guess to set up for something bot lane. At least. Alright, so coordinate with your jungler. That's something to keep note of. Uh... Gank with your jungler. Makes sense. He's not even like six, but I guess it still works out. I'm not sure why he sharked there, but I think that shark was not good. What is he gonna do now? Double gank? Okay. Nice. I guess he sharked then, because it was 100% landing, and then he gets the damage off no matter what. Makes sense then. Just backs, right? All right, what is he doing now? Where are we going? I guess he was walking towards Nickton, but I guess he's he got got ganked. He shoved that lane. He's backing. What can he buy? What's this so important to buy? You shove him by now. Stick revolver and then boots. Okay, so now except revolver and pen boots. Okay, okay. I guess if you're super far ahead, you go Zonius. If you're not super far ahead, you go. Uh, um, GLP. Oh, pro proto belt. You're proto belt. I was sloppy on his having on the wave, but fine. Gross. So now he's just ganking bot again. Poor bot. I guess those are the money moves. Well, I think he should have just held it all and went in. Well, I can't. I can't see the rest of the map, obviously, but I think I think they could have gotten more. Hmm. Everyone had summons there, so.
Yeah, finding ways to like like control the lane and, and then finding realms is really important. Now we just walk around a bit. He's back bot lane again. He's gonna Q. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of panicking. That's kind of sloppy there. But yeah, he's just he's just around the map and where he needs to be at good times. Yeah, Protobell allows you to be around the map a lot faster now. Oh, that's good. That's a shitty control word. Wait, it's, you, you can see that. Mm-hmm, okay. Dude, he's gonna ult you back. Or I guess not. So I guess we're just ganking around the map. Okay, what's gonna happen here? How does he play this? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, start autoing people, man. I guess he was lying for Elise. Makes sense. Ah, you got that stun. Oh, at least ate the, at least ate the fireball for a fizz. Oh, nice. Ah, he didn't need to die there. Okay, well, let's change it then. Okay, so I, what have we learned for this video? Right, when you're fizz versus Yasuo, um, tether Yasuo's key range. E Yasuo with you can't dash. Your burst is always greater than Yasuo's burst. After first buy, you can trade more. Don't E when Yasuo can dash. Yasuo will always take your ult. <laughs> it would take ult, so you just abuse that. If blue side, gank top. If red, gank bot. But, so what that means specifically is, um, if you're blue side, so if you're starting on this side, on the bottom left, you gank top side. If you're starting on the top right, like your red side, you gank bot. Because of the way it it opens and how you're, you're able to get behind people easier because of blast cones. Um, no, so they are. Uh, you can't shove lane if you win the first trade. Gank with your jungler. So this one didn't really highlight how to play against Yasuo, more so just how to rotate around the map. But I think the way it was going in the very beginning, uh, Fizz had the, the, the upper hand and could have done a lot more. But then again, uh, junglers need a campaign to come into account, and Shivana is a slow jungler, so maybe that's why he played like that. But I see the first video was a lot more uh, informative than this one. So, oops. Okay. That's so fucking. The fuck, dude? That cat. That's great. Okay. Alright. Yep, that's the video. Been watching. I'll try to do more of these later. Uh, right now I was doing the Yasuo because I played a lot of Yasuo's and I feel like I can do a lot more than just being passive and waiting for something to happen. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's been Nicholas Mana, it's been nice. Peace.